Hey everyone, I am feeling a little lazy today. I need some help with expenses, converting them from US dollars to euros, and figuring out what that exchange rate is. I'm going to ask my AI agent friend here for some help. I will get this started and then kind of walk you through what's going on, and I'll also show you how to set this up if you want to do it on your own. So first, we need some expenses. Now, in the real world, you would probably have a spreadsheet already of expenses, but I'm actually going to have the AI generate these for me, put them into a spreadsheet, and then open up that spreadsheet. So let's get this started. What we're looking at here is Anthropic's computer use feature. This lets an AI use your computer the same way you would. So looking at a screen, moving a cursor, clicking buttons, typing text to complete some kind of a task or solve some problem. So that's the whole idea of an AI agent. It's basically a helper. Now this is currently in beta, so a little glitchy, some performance issues, but we're going to see how far we can get. It looks like so far things are going well. So let's see what has happened. I'll just scroll up to the top here. So first it's created a CSV file for the data. Perfect. Created in the temp folder. It's checking if we've got LibreOffice installed. It is. So opening up the spreadsheet. And then here you'll start to see screenshots. So action of screenshot. And that's really what's happening behind the screen. It looks at a screenshot. It figures out where to place the mouse. You'll see that here. Mouse move to a particular coordinate, so a pixel location on the screen based on the screenshot. So lots of screenshots here. We've got a left click action for the mouse, another screenshot, moving the mouse to another coordinate here, and on and on, left click, and success. So it works with screenshots. This is not going to work for something that requires real-time interaction like a game, at least not at the moment. But it looks like it has successfully completed our first ask. So we've got the CSV, we've got some data in there, and we've opened up the spreadsheet. Okay, cool. Now we need to work on the exchange rate. So we'll ask it to create a new column for euros, and then I need it to figure out the conversion rate using an online tool, and then put the converted value in column E. So let's get this one going. And while that's working, you might be wondering what this strange looking interface is. Why am I not just running this on my own local computer? And I could, but Anthropic's recommendation is actually that you don't do that. And I'll show you a little bit more why, but it looks like it's opened up Firefox. Awesome. You'll see in this environment here that it's got access to some basic apps. So I've got the spreadsheet, obviously. I've got Firefox. I've got a PDF viewer. I've got a calculator. So basic things. And this is running inside of a container. If you don't know what that is, don't worry just yet. It's basically an isolated environment that's running inside of my machine that's not able to access or harm my local machine. So in theory, nothing can go awry. But let's see what's happening here. So it's opened up Firefox. We're wanting it to go figure out the conversion rate. Okay, here we go. So it's going to xe.com, converting US dollars to euros. Perfect. Gotta love all of the pop-ups that appear. It seems that AI struggles with these just like I do as a human. Okay, so now it's trying a different site. That's interesting. And this is moving a little bit slow. As I've edited the video, I've kind of sped things up a little bit so it's not quite so painful for you. But it looks like we've got the rate 0.97. And it's actually trying another converter now. It's just going out to Google. Okay, hopefully the third time is the charm here. Grabbing that screenshot. Okay, now we're back to the spreadsheet. And hopefully it will fill in column E with the new data. Okay, we've got a heading in column E. That's encouraging. Oh, we get the rate limit error. This has happened to me every time I've run this. 
things will just kind of slow down and then eventually I get the error. So rate limiting generally is to ensure that you're not abusing the API, making too many calls. So there's good reasons for it. You can increase your limit. It looks like you have to contact Anthropic's sales team to do that, which I have not. So I've just been dealing with this. Usually you have to wait about a minute and then I'll just type in continue and it'll pick up on the task and in most cases finish it. It's been able to figure out the spreadsheet and enter the correct information most of the time. So you'll get there, but you might come across this error. I won't force you to watch the rest of this spreadsheet demo, but hopefully you get the idea. So these AI agents are here to help you accomplish some task. We could say something like go to these 10 websites, find the contact for investor relations and send them an email that says X or go fill out a form on a web page. At the moment, it can't do things like logging into accounts or going to Amazon and ordering something for you. So anything that requires login information or other sensitive or confidential information, it's just not gonna do that for you. It's probably where we're heading, but not today. But if you wanna play with this on your own, let me show you how to set it up. In the description below for this video, I've included a link to this GitHub repo for Anthropic Quick Starts. There's one here for computer use demo. And basically you just need to follow these instructions. I'll kind of walk you through this. I would say this is a little bit more for the technically inclined who understand containers. At the moment, there's not just an easy interface with an easy button to start this agent. If you need some help with containers, check out the video linked above and below. It explains the basic concepts helps you install Docker, and you can even create your first container. But with that basic understanding, you should be able to follow along here if you need that extra help. But there's warnings all over this. It is in beta. There are unique risks. So they do not recommend that you run this locally on your machine. You should use a virtual machine or a container, which is what I'm doing. Don't give it any sensitive data. We've talked about stuff like that. But assuming that you're good with all of that, then the quick start instructions are down here. Now there's three ways that you can do this. You can use the Anthropic API. That's what I'm going to do. I'll walk you through in a second. You can use Bedrock. I have not tried this one yet. You can use Vertex as well, which I haven't tried either. But if you're on Google Cloud instead of AWS, this would be the way to go. But I'm going to use the Anthropic API. This means you need an Anthropic API key. So go out to console.anthropic.com you can get new API keys here. It's free to create the Anthropic account for developers, but then you also do need some tokens. This is how you're charged to use the API. So I loaded up my account with $10. I've used about $3 so far, but I've run through this demo maybe five or six times at this point and tried some different variations as well. If you run through it just once, it might cost you $1.25, $1.50, depending on what you do, obviously. But there is a charge associated with this if you're following along. So just a heads up there. All right, so back to our instructions here. It's actually fairly easy to get this container up and running. The first thing you're gonna need to do is set an environment variable for your key. And I've just been using the terminal in Docker Desktop Again, if you need the basics of Docker, check out that other video that I referenced a second ago. But you'll copy and paste the code from that GitHub page over here to your terminal. I've already set my API key, so I'm just going to grab this code. But if this is the first time you're doing it, you'll need to grab all of this code. But this code will only work if you're on Mac or Linux. If you are on Windows like I am, it's not going to work. So here is what you need if you're running Windows. And I've highlighted the things that are different between the Windows version and the Mac and Linux version. But all you need to do is copy the code. Like I said, I've set my key already, so I'm just going to grab this part of the code, paste it in here, and run. Now, the first time you run this, it's going to look for the Anthropic image locally, and it's not going to find it. So it'll go out to Docker Hub and download that. That'll take a couple of minutes, probably. And then once it's local, you won't need to do that download step again. So mine is already local. All it's doing now is just starting up the container. But again, the first time you will need to download the image first. All right, once everything is running, you just need to go to localhost 8080. I've got that back here in my browser. So previously I had a container running, obviously. I deleted that. This is the new container that I just started. And then you can interact with it just like we've seen. So 
maybe we want to find the top five videos and then list them in a CSV file. So we can get it started on that. Incidentally, if you ever want to just stop it, then hit the stop button up here and that'll interrupt the conversation that's going on here. Okay, I'll just let that run. There's lots of other things you can try here. Overall, I think this is really cool technology and will eventually be very useful for completing tasks. At the moment, my personal take is it's not quite ready for prime time. Obviously, it is just in beta, so I wasn't expecting it to be. But it is very slow at times. We have that rate limiting error, and it doesn't always get things correct. Cost-wise, even though I've only spent $3, it's not that big of a deal. But you can see if you are running this a lot, kind of at production scale, that would add up really fast. So that's another thing to be aware of. OK, I'm going to stop this. If you're finding this helpful so far, give me a thumbs up on the video so YouTube knows to share it with more people. And then let me show you where you can learn more. I'll put these links in the description below as well. So out in the documentation on Anthropic, you can read more about this computer use feature, get some additional code, how it works, and so on. And then if you go dig around in the GitHub repo, you can actually see the code that's kind of driving the behavior, the actions that are available to the agent. So key, type, mouse move, left click, and so on, how it's getting the dimensions of your screen. So kind of what's going on behind the scenes. All right, that does it for the video. I would love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you would use, if this is something that kind of terrifies you, or somewhere in between. Also, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching.